Uh, salutare! Uh, dacă m-am înțeles corect, suntem deja live. Uh, astăzi uh, suntem adunați aici cu foarte mulți oameni. O, oh, eu vorbesc în engleză. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, today we are here to discuss about new media, about how brands can interact with the, this use of technology and innovation. And I have a bigger pleasure to introduce here some of some of awesome person. Uh, Katerina Todorovski, uh, Head of, of uh, Marketing, uh, Branding Marketing from Becherea, uh, Ovidiu Megan, uh, Founder of the Flight Festival, and Silvia Antohi, um, Creative, not Creative, the, um, It's uh, fine, yeah, Creative Director at Malin Love Romania. Yeah. Creative Director from Malin Love Romania. Yeah, I, I forgot about the, uh, the whole uh, um, your positioning, so the, this why. And, um, Zina Kozhukaro is CEO from The Vault, and I'm the founder of uh, Bold, the startup that bring together brands and creative uh, persons uh, who make new collaboration uh, and in direction of new media art. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for inviting us. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's my pleasure, bigger pleasure, to be honest. OK, hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. Uh, so let's start with uh, Dimitro, the founder of Bold Experience. Uh, tell us, please, about Bold. What is the main vision and mission and the objectives of Bold? Um, yeah, uh, uh, here in Bold, we have a biggest, for I think, a biggest mission to um, bring together uh, opportunity and uh, a solution from New Media Art, uh, who will. Uh, me give possibility to artists to grow their community, to grow they like artists, and uh, uh, with the support of the brands who have uh, the, the same vision, who have the possibility to uh, help the, the this uh, to help the grow this uh, this way. Um, and uh, what we do uh, at the world, it's uh, we try to um, introduce uh, in this uh, particular uh, segment uh, brands and uh, agency and uh, uh, new media artists. So de facto, uh, Bold is a platform where, uh, where that sell and rent verified and trusted domestic solution for any type of event. Spe uh, specific specifically uh, talking, we are more focused for uh, events, for BTLA activation and uh, uh, product launches where brands need to have a different way of, uh, to communicate with their customers. And why this is important, uh, it's because we'll, 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 we will have a, a story. And when we try to uh, sell and tell, tell something, uh, we try to tell about true uh, story. And uh, um, like storytelling is the, the head of uh, communication, I think. And we try to uh, combine this through innovation, technology, new media. Talking about a little bit about the uh, context, what is new media art? It's the whole technology, what you know about VR, AR, interactive installation, lighting, laser show, uh, all those uh, uh, technologies part of new media art. And immersive experience is that space when you can came and be part of the new way of, uh, uh, of the touching, interaction, feelings, uh, what you see, what to feel your, say yourself like a, a visitor. Imagine the v, um, uh, Avatar movie where you have a lot of um, uh, projection on the walls, you have a decoration of the lights, and all these uh, things, it's interact with you, with you like in real movie, but in real life. So this is what we do here in, in Bold. Yep. Thank you, Dimitru. Okay. Uh... Silvio, uh, let's talk about new media. And the question is, why brands nowadays are becoming more interested in collaborations as that involves art? And how does it increase engagement with a brand's audience? Silvio. We cannot hear you, sorry. Yes, hello, first of all. Uh, a uh, really good question, actually, uh, just because earlier before this uh, panel, I had a conversation with some colleagues um, over a coffee. And the one thing that 
most of them are actually doing right now, it's not watching TV anymore. So, uh, because if we are actually um, talking about, I don't know, let's say no more than five or maybe six years ago, the main channel was everybody was actually uh, looking and looking not necessarily uh, what was looking for entertainment was the TV. Uh, because after uh, a full day work, you're going home watching some TV. So this is the main entertainment, um, which involves, let's say, uh, technology that everybody has. Nowadays, most of us are dropping the TV, uh, but not necessarily because they are not looking for content anymore, but they're looking more for engagement because the TV didn't, uh, deliver that engagement. Um, so why new media now? It's because the new media, it stands as a replacement for the need of the consumer to have engagement with the actual entertainment. They don't want to look at it anymore. They want to interact with it. They want to touch it. They want to feel it. They want to be inside the actual brand experience uh, by the end of the day. Because brands uh, has have now have this pressure um, on their shoulders, and it's a huge pressure to be honest, because uh, consumers don't want to look at, at them anymore. They want them to prove and act and engage them in the conversation. Uh, and for the second part of, uh, of the question is actually my favorite part. Why now are we looking towards new media artists? Because we're, we're, we're talking about them uh, being these new media artists, but they're actually just artists. <laughs> uh, because uh, the space where they're actually building and creating the art, it's new for us and for the consumers. Uh, but it's a huge gallop in the uh, entertainment uh, media right now. And craftsmen just have to adapt their skills with these new tools. It's not... It's, it's the same art, but it's the space where the art actually lives, uh, which is different. Uh, and it's kind, of in, it's kind of boosted, let's say, up uh, with the, ent the engagement that, that technology now offers. Yeah, but by the way, here I, I uh, continue your to thoughts. Uh, uh, sure. Curious, but 37% uh, uh, of customers are more likely to buy something um, a product or a service after an experiential or emotion, emotional interaction with the brand. And uh, uh, we saw this uh, uh, when we participate at different events, make a different installation for those of brands from Romania. And uh, since, uh, I don't know, 40, 15 uh, and eight years deliver, de deliver, delivering and development this type of interaction, we saw how brand, how uh, uh, customers are more happy and more uh, uh, mem create more um, synapses through the experience of the, of the brands. And uh, this was like an amazing thoughts when uh, uh, Ona realized uh, that can be that can bring new value and can bring new potential to communication. And yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay, uh, Katerina, hello. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you, hello. finally. Heard a lot of good things about you. <laughs> nice to meet and, you, too. Thank you. And the question is, uh, tell us, please, why Georgia chose to use new media and immersive experiences in their communication, and how did it affect the communication and the feedback from your audience? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to this panel. I know everybody here with Ovidio, we have a collaboration for almost four years. We are present at uh, Fight Fe Flight Festival and we are offering there a very highly customized experience. I know uh, Dima for a couple of years and I am so happy that uh, what, he, what he has done with Bolt and his um, passion about what he's doing. And also, not uh, last, not the least, I know um, Silvio from the market and I know what kind of creative uh, project that they have done. So congratulations for that. 
regarding George and what we are doing and why we are using new media and why we are present um, at events and offering another type of customized experience is because um, I believe that uh, the accelerating digital transformation in the last two years uh, created extended opportunities for the new media like new touch points like i don't know virtual uh, reality augmented reality metaverse voice assistant uh, represented a really real challenge for the brands and actually uh, they are changing how customers relate to brands through unique uh, memo, memo, memorable and highly customized experience and actually, uh, it's very perfect to our brand positioning because uh, the blend of innovation, the immersive experience and the technologies are the basics of our principles in uh, communicating for uh, George Brand. Um, I will tell you small about George first in order for the people to know a little bit about the brand, even though I think that they already uh, heard a lot. But um, we have invested in this kind of experiences since, since the, we launched George uh, almost four years ago. And uh, George as a product by itself, it's an ecosystem end-to-end -end digital. And what we realized in the four past years is that we need to continuously reinvent ourselves in order to stay relevant to our customers um, for which we continue to build not just uh, new features in the app and not just uh, new services in order to offer them a better experience, but also an easier journey within the banking ecosystem from so meaning that they can do banking from wherever they 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 are also another very important point that i want to tackle is that um, uh, the wild competition for the audience attention is what uh, silvio said before also uh, demands of a new approach for the brands so here i really really agree with him because now than ever, it's not just offering a solution or a product or a service of quality, because really, let's be honest, uh, these days with the digital transformation, almost all companies and brands, uh, especially in the banking sector, are offering almost the same solution. So what we are doing differently is that we are trying to find the solutions to work toward, um, towards amazing the public. And where to do that, if not at festivals and special projects where we are having really touch point with the customer. We are one to one. So that's why we chose to partner with some iconic events in order to try to offer this amazing experience uh, to our um, target. So during this time these four years we have uh, as i said we have wisely chosen our partnerships uh, in order to be able to offer a good immersive experience and uh, to take the public to a place that uh, they have never been before and uh, it's not just a product or a service we george we try to be also an experience provider so it's not just a doing a banking but also to to offer you something different and if these experiences at festivals are very well done um, i think that can help us build a long-lasting bonds with our audiences so i don't want to stay a lot on examples because we have done a lot i think that ovidio knows because we also have done at flight festival a lot of them but uh, i will i don't know i will share with you a couple of projects in order to explain you this um uh, this human technology touch that also uh, builds on our brand positioning um one of one of very good example would be um, a kuka project that we have done last year at saga festival it was really really um, a perfect opportunity to expose to the public an installation truly spectacular uh, by using um, a special motion sensor the public could control an industrial robotic arm by using their own hands and body motions so you know, people were, I, I remember I was staying there, also I tried by myself, and I said, wow, what, you know, where the future is bringing us? 
because you know at the end we had the very nice light games uh um, nice uh, nice gaming interaction and uh, we really gathered a lot of people at the event so we had a you know like a line of people waiting to interact with a human robotic experience also now because it's here also video i want to also give the example of what we've done last year at flight festival in timishwara uh, we had uh, last year we marked the moment of reaching 1 million uh, active customers for George. Uh, so we developed a contextual in installation with an interactive component uh, in the shape of the George logo. Uh, we, uh, the installation contained 1 million spherical elements that were uh, continuously moving inside the structure. So the public could interact with the elements by placing their hands on the membrane of the installation uh, uh, and forming at the, uh, at the same, same time accumulation points in the areas they have touched. So what we wanted to transmit to the public is that although we have more than 1 million active customers for George, each of them are very important for us. And actually, they are a very important member of the group and has a unique contributions to the big picture, to the big group of George. And um, I can tell you a lot of examples, but not uh, we are not here for that. But uh, like uh, as a conclusion, I think that uh, uh, there is a no big difference between new media and immersive experience. Uh, I mean, I, wa I want to say that uh, I believe that the new media gave birth to the ex immersive experience concept. And um, I'm not talking here about, I don't know, new so social media formats for ads, but about all these uh, creative uh, media um, that takes the customers out of this uh, world, out of their comfort zone by offering them something uncommon through technology and that creates uh, really something unique to impact uh, them and offer them a different uh, perspective of the brand. So uh, what Bold is doing here, Dumitra, I need to say something nice things for you as well. I think that the platform you want to build is perfect for us us as a brand and Sylvia as an agency, yes, of course. because um, what we want to offer to our customers is something different every time. I don't want to go at the same event or partnership or festival with the same experience. I want to offer every time something new. Uh, I'm talking now about the George brand and also about BCR. And if, as I said before, if we want to stay relevant for our customers, we really need to amaze them every time they get in touch with us. So this is what I can say about this topic. Here, by the way, I have two cases too. Uh, in 2090, we make a great installation called Wish. It was the 20 years anniversary of the one smoking company. And uh, we build, uh, and in container, we build a mirror, uh, mirror verse when uh, and in the middle of the chamber you have a, the dandelion when you uh, blowing in, in this dandelion and uh, light by light uh, they go and add up the cell and after the light last light uh, touch the cell he uh, generate a, new, a different animation and the concept was uh, put your uh, uh, dream uh, or uh, wish in in, uh, in your mind and see how the, your wish it's looking for it's, it's looking are and this was like a, a high impact for uh, brand visibility, uh, people stay in a row to uh, have this uh, particular experience and uh, it was one of the greatest uh, experiences. But second one we have done in 2019, uh, 2017, it was like light show where we have uh, a lot of uh, lights uh, put in on, this, on the sale of the chamber and uh, people who came in, in that space was the uh, active participa participant of the, the experience. They not just are looking to how the moving heads, is, uh, how this um, DMX heads, light heads moving, uh, they stay in, uh, uh, in, in, in this light and they interact with this line. 
and they was part of these experiences. And this, this type of experience we try to promote and to show how uh, and, and in our case, Artcore uh, can give you more than just uh, workspace where you can uh, give more, you can take more ju just like a space where uh, it's like a uh, light show or something, uh, usual experiences. And I'm happy to hear this about uh, from you. It's about your positioning and in, in that case and about supporting of uh, this uh, direction. And uh, of course, uh, would would tell you right now we work on the project. Uh, uh, we I will not give more detail because it's a conf confidential. Yeah, <laughs> but we work on the. It's so far, at least, it's confidential. <laughs> I hope that it's not for banking. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I, this here, uh, Silo can tell more. Uh, what I can say, it's uh, the same uh, uh, interaction uh, innovation with the. Uh, uh, amazing domain. It's like uh, on the first touch. It's like it's it's not relevant for this domain, but actually it's it is, and that can help uh, to make to have new uh, new touches with customers. But also I want to mention the video. Uh, with the video we work on the uh, by the way with the bold we will create a lot of experiences uh, at the flight festival and here. Uh, We'll have a special zone where we bring new artists and we'll make uh, collaborative uh, open calls to promote uh, the vision of uh, uh, Flight Festival on true new media art. Yeah. So uh, in, in few in few uh, days, in few days, in few months, you'll saw uh, some uh, amazing words, uh, works and amazing uh, collaboration. Yeah, yeah, I will be present there and I will experience them one to one. <laughs> I yeah. can't wait. Well, me too, me too. <laughs> thank you, Katerina. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, hello, a video. Hello. Uh, we cannot see you, but we appreciate you're here with us. <laughs> um, I'm happy to be with you, with Silvio, Katerina, and Dima, and also with your uh, guests. Thank you. Uh, so, your question is why? Flight decided to choose new media art solutions, and uh, why, over any other existing new media agencies, you chose Bold? First of all, uh, I would like to um, mention that uh, Flight Festival is probably the only one edutainment festival in this part of the Europe. We would like to educate the people in the field of um arts of culture and technology uh, but also we we would like to offer them uh, entertainment uh, we are acting uh, in the field of music arts and technology and why we are looking for this field of uh, new media art is very simple because a uh, few years ago uh, timishara decided to compete for the european capital of culture and we won uh, this um, competition, uh, having in the big book two main pillars, arts and technology, and the mix among these uh, two pillars. So uh, the reason is uh, very strong to, to use these uh, two pillars, even in our festival. We used to develop this uh, festival since 2019, and the European Capital of Culture will be um, hosted by uh, Timisoara next year in 2023. So uh, there are five years where we are uh, acting in this area and we are trying to develop uh, this field of uh, new media art, a part of music, of uh, film, theater and uh, technology. So we can see in this field of new media art a very important component of our uh, festival. That's why um, we are trying to develop with uh, Bolt and uh, your team uh, very interesting uh, installations uh, and interactive installations for our participants in order to interact with them and to have fun uh, during the festival, a part of the musical concerts, uh, theater, spectacles, and uh, so on. 
So that's why we uh, we tried to to find a partner during this period. It was a little bit difficult during the uh, pandemic period, but now we are happy to uh, to get in contact with uh, Bolt and to to see that we have the same vision and we can do wonderful things together. Uh, what is important, and uh, because Kat uh, Katerina is here, I want to uh say that the support of the community and the business environment is very important in this field because it's not so much developed at, uh, uh, at community level i'm speaking here about new media art and we have to educate the people in this field so uh if you want as a business player to look at the community and to to make an impact of course you you have to invest also in this kind of uh, activities not only in activities with a big number of uh, visitors or uh, people which are getting in contact with them and uh, i appreciate a lot the involvement of uh, becher and george in this field and if I'm going to Bucharest to visit um, um, a big event in this uh, field of new media art, I can see George over there. If I'm going to other big cities, I uh, can see the involvement of uh, George over there. So I'm happy and uh, I'm recognizing the, the, um, the merit of these uh, uh, players, uh, business players, which uh, take a look on the community and they support the community to grow up the level of education of the people in this field. Thank you. Thank you, Ovidio. Yeah, by the way, do you, do, do you feel the vibe? Why? Uh, what I told about the community, about the be involved, about the connection, the dots. It's amazing when uh, um, we can do this uh, with, through, uh, with the common uh, effort and uh, not just to do like, like see, uh, Ovidio say, uh, for the big numbers or uh, about the uh, uh, big uh, of, I don't know, engagement um, in, in social media. Uh, it's it's wonderful when we can do this to grow the community, to grow the new type, new shapes of uh, person who will think differently, who will make the, the world more artsy. It might, maybe looks more like uh, infant, infantry, no, more like childish to make uh, our wish to make more artsy the world, but I think it's, it's the way and in this way uh, we all uh, uh, are, are stepping in and um, what I want to say uh, in this collaboration I'm very happy to uh, mention about the uh, how uh, uh, we would fly festival uh, with Silvio from Man Love um, creating the uh, the whole big picture of uh, creative uh, direction of uh, how new media can interact and I'm special uh, happy how uh, Ovidio say like how George is involved in this, uh, this type of uh, interaction and uh, uh, it's it's one of the point how we start and why we start uh, our path because um, uh, while we being on the, uh, on the beginning of our uh, uh, way and 20, since 2040, it was hard to find the right partners, right, uh, uh, the right persons who will believe in you, who will uh, give your credits, because uh, even research what to make, uh, um, brands, agency have a couple of common problems when they try to in introduce new, uh, new technologies like poor quality or uh, limited of the uh, times. It's uh, outdated of uh, 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 repetitive ideas, it's lack of uh, reliability, re re reliability, re 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 reliability. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's so hard word for me, but I, I need to remember this word. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and this this why uh, uh, we try to provide the ready-made solution and for another way, it's uh, like brief made the solution when uh, agency or uh, uh, brand or festival can say, hey guys, uh, we want to uh, not just uh, uh, invite to like a creative studio who make some uh, creative stuff, but we want to make some for for community to involve them and to understand how we can bring more artists to make something cool, something uh, would impact for the society. Yeah, and I'm so super happy. And, uh, Katerina, may I mention this about my passion? I, I can talk, talk, 
thought about this uh, in, in, in our and uh, with all my energy because and passion because I, I really believe in this and the uh, uh, yeah and and I hope we'll bring uh, to the, the to the light a lot of uh, new projects and a lot of uh, new bold idea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I, I want to. I yeah, yes, say please. I just want to add and acknowledge the energy which every speaker had when talking about this specifically new media art, like Katerina was talking. You got to see that that uh, installation that we did. Then uh, Dumitru was, I can talk hours, hours, and the video was, uh, let's, you're going to see what we're planning, and we're actually planning a lot of stuff uh, uh, for, uh, for flight. And, but I want to add just one more thing. Because it's not for the, the sake of art. It's not uh, doing this new media for the sake of art. Uh, I know that uh, at some point, this medium, this new medium, it's hard to measure. But it's, it's a marathon. We're not looking for the quick results. We're, we're like, um, maybe I'm uh, throwing out big words, but it's a small community of pioneers. We're at, we don't know exactly towards what we're going. But this yeah. energy and having this mindset going towards something which we all know that's going to be the future. This is actually what Bold for me did when I actually uh, knew about it. It was the, the glue, the link, which we kind of missed at some point. The agency and the client, uh, we needed Bold to, to, to uh, talk the same language and more for the consumer as well because when us were talking the same language, the consumers understands better. Uh, so this was what uh, Bold did for me uh, and for all the projects I think that Bold should do and keep this energy and keep this marathon uh, going uh, towards, I don't know, let's say nothing, but as long as it's a really uh, full and fun energy, uh, the road, uh, it should be towards the media. Thank you very much for so kind of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, a I'm sure, for my I'm sure that Dima will not stop. This is <laughs> yes. so it's good. Now it's good. It's good. Yeah, now we have to hear Dima again. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop me, please, because I can't continue about uh, talking about this in an hour for for sure. <laughs> No, but I really, as I said, I think that it's a perfect solution for both agency and customer. And actually, uh, you're helping also artists, you're helping agencies, you're helping cost, uh, clients. I think it's all in one. Yes. So it's yeah. something that, you know, it's it's very difficult. I can say about the client perspective, guys, it's difficult when we stay and say, okay, what to do there? So we need to think something different. So we need to something that has never been done before. So, you know, when you have like a, uh, like a cloud, let's say, yeah. pool with the people that can innovate and that can come uh, with an ideas and bring them to life, for me as a client, you know, I'm more happier and I'm also calm. Like, I'm okay. We can do nicer things and we can come up with nicer ideas and actually, as I said, you know, customize for every uh, event different event so keep the good work and i hope you have a huge success thank you thank you uh, what i saw i told about the uh, d different solution um, we try to put uh, a lot of solution on them on the like, kind of marketplace and uh, here that will be like a, a huge library one you can pick uh, some uh, some word and uh, uh, the, the the main feature of the, the platform is to can have possibility to take this uh, uh, activation in, in very short time to have all documentation to understand how can be adaptive or not adaptive for uh, for your brand communication and uh, yeah, it's huge work uh, and, uh, and and what you need to do but I think uh, that will be the great uh, point to where we can change something and uh, yeah um, what I what I remember, by the way, talking with you, uh, it was about the uh, uh, different possibility of uh, and different solution. What can be uh, um, delivered very fast, like uh, hey, Dima, I need for tomorrow. Okay, not for tomorrow, but <laughs> something that is for tomorrow, something awesome and cool. 
And I, I think, well, <laughs> something goes something cool in, in a couple of days, I can, and we start with our team to uh, find all our ready-made solution to understand what we can put uh, in front of you very fast. And what it, this is what was challenging. And I, when uh, we start to deep dive, uh, to dig in this direction, we understand a lot of uh, uh, artists and uh, creative studio have uh, a lot of uh, installation what uh, they didn't show show up and didn't show to, to any person. And it was like, why we were not can put this in on one market marketplace? Uh, what I can remember uh, the same about the talking about the festivals. Uh, when we saw, uh, when we meet to the video on uh, Timishwara, by the way, it was my first uh, time visiting in Timishwara. Thank you very much, Avid. It was awesome. And uh, we're talking about the uh, how um, uh, how can artists make something cool? How then can they can be uh, directed? Uh, because not uh, uh, every uh, festival agency or uh, brand have possibility or needed to have a special department uh, of innovation of uh, technology in in uh, in house and this is why uh, i think bold uh, will can help not just uh, uh, with the work but literally to uh, uh, give direction or guide it uh, and, uh, and providing of new solution or uh, um, what this type of uh, not just guided, but guided to to understand this technology because I understand it's hard to uh, uh, to take um, uh, to be updated to all technology. Even we with uh, with all our experience, it's like uh, overnight to finding about new technologies. Wow, oh, what is this? New? We need to Google it first to understand what is this because if if our client asks us, but uh, Dima, we need this one to introduce. We need to understand this, this technology, not to say something bullshit to to uh, to to to, pay, to appear something um, smart or uh, uh, to be uh, on time with the with the solution. Yeah, and uh, I, I'm especially happy to to so to see say because uh, we saw this uh, direction and how uh, uh, European communities develop uh, this developed in, the, in this direction. This, by the way, this is how I start uh, moving forward on in, uh, in the immersive world and new media. When I was in Berlin uh, uh, at the expo called Scalar, it was like a mind blowing uh, exhibition. When uh, I, I after that exhibition, I came to to my team and say, guys, I want to do this. I don't know how we can do this, how it's work, how what is mean and <laughs> what is what is called, but I want to do this. And uh, yeah, a couple of years uh, we, st we start our first project in this direction, and uh, now we we are uh, upgraded our our vision in our direction. I want to um, uh, uh, before I all thank you uh, all. I want to uh, talk about the uh, what we will do with the video and the flight festival because uh, we are not uh, touched so much at this point, I think, and. Uh, uh, actually, at the um, flight and the project what we develop with flight festival, it's a little bit more just than a couple of uh, works uh, of new media what we'll put here. We'll have um, a collaboration with the new media artists who want to be involved in the creation to create on the specific theme. Uh, for example, uh, we'll decide what theme we want to. Uh, um, Touch and uh, about uh, uh, around what <laughs> I forgot my thoughts. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if if told the very simple, um, we want we, at the flight you will saw uh, as uh, immersive experiences and uh, create special for some brands uh, and uh, also you saw how. Uh, uh, will uh, teach new type of uh, artists to make new collaboration. Uh, what I mean, for example, in, uh, we uh, prepare one uh, big activation called Digital Poetry, uh, and here we'll bring uh, artists, visual artists, so it's called uh, poets, poets, poetry guys, uh, poet, poetry people, uh, sound designers and visual designers, and uh, poetry will make the uh, verse 
verse. Uh, sound designers put the sound of the on this verse, and motion designers will create animation, and this will be on one big experience is created uh, with the power of the community, and all this creation will be put, put on the uh, a big uh, pillar uh, on the four four six uh, matters uh, heights. And this will be a, a quality of immersive experiences what we will provide to the flight. So, and this year, uh, the flight will make something awesome and uh, also something immersive. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing Bravo. Uh, that's right. That's right. Don't forget about the, the Bega River. Yeah. Uh, the bridges that we want to um to make them in a specific way appropriate to new media art and to let the participants know about the history of Timisoara. Um, we are uh, decorating two of the most historical, let's say, uh, bridges in Timisoara over the Brega River. And we would like to expose all the creations of this young artist that we are bringing together in our uh, in our uh, contest uh, in order to create this installation and to expose them along the Bega River and to create happenings uh, around them and to let uh, uh, a big number of people know about uh, this field of new media art, about the history of Timisoara, about the, this kind of artist and so on. Very yeah, nice. that's true. And uh, the the finest, the uh, uh, coolest thing here is, uh, yeah, we can do this like a, a creative studio because we have a lot of uh, experience and so we do a lot of project in different country and a different uh, different type of clients. But our main purpose and uh, mission is to uh, give possibility to guide and to. Uh, uh, take uh, give possibility to different uh, artists to collaborate between them and create new uh, new disruptive solution and disruptive experiences because i think this is the way uh, it, it, you can be the best and the greatest person in each field and in each uh, um, direction and this is why you need power of the community because uh, i am good in the one field you are good in another field and uh, if we will, in, in case one will put our uh, uh, um, our effort in one way, that can be create something awesome. Yeah. So um, I want to thank everyone. Thank you very much for your energy. Uh, thank you, video. Sorry about your camera. It will it will it will be more of, um, an interact to see you too. But I understand you have some couple of problems with the camera. Uh, thank you, Katerina, for your uh, um, examples and uh, uh, yeah about your uh, uh, case studies. Thank you, uh, Silvio, for your vision about and uh, about sharing your uh, vision about the uh, interaction uh, in, in this field. And uh, Zina, thank you very much for uh, your uh, guiding guided us and to uh, for. Your smile. <laughs> By the way, thank you for everybody for your smile. I know with you smile, you are smiling too, but uh, I am indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you. Uh, a special thanks say uh, to say to uh, uh, startup startup grind uh, event because they help us to share uh, this event and to uh, Innovix Accelerator. This was um, for us a special event because. We uh, we tried sec two times to to pass uh, uh, this accelerator and just uh, for second time we uh, were was accepted and uh, this about bold by the way because it's not uh, enough to wish something it's you need to put some uh, work not just hard working but smart work you need to be perseverant and to really want something to change and I think this is why we was accepted because we, are, we was accepted like challenger we didn't uh, by the way uh, our video uh, supply festival is our first paid client and uh, we're proud of this because he has so much uh, credibility in us and for so much um, trust in us and uh, um, yeah thank you very much for of, all of you. Thank you very much, Dima. I hope your experience at Innovix uh, was quite good and that you had the uh, perfect guidance from my colleagues. Um, 
You know, I, I, as I told you, when you're passionate about something, you are doing it. So yeah. you entered, you passed. So bravo. It was, uh, by the way, one of the coolest accelerator what I, I, I passed because I have previous experience with accelerator, but this one with all my experiences give me a lot of more experiences uh, and I, I I don't know how to explain, but it was really cool. Everybody who is watching us, I uh, um, encourage, encourage you to, to uh, be part of this accelerator because this gives you a lot of insights, a lot of mentors, a lot of contacts and brands and uh, uh, pitching with the brands, with investors, it's a really cool one. Bravo. Very nice. Thank you for inviting us. Okay, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.